let us start with a new chapter that is euclid's geometry this is chapter 5 euclid's axioms again axioms are facts or true statements you can say so let us see the first axiom over here things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another so let us consider this three triangles over here so there are three triangles triangle abc triangle pqr triangle xyz now triangle abc is equal to triangle pqr triangle abc is equal to triangle pqr that is this triangle 1 i can say this triangle 1 is equal to this triangle 2 so now i know that this triangle 1 is equal to triangle 2 and this triangle 2 is equal to triangle 3 this triangle 2 is equal to this triangle 3 that is triangle xyz so in the first case we have that this triangle abc is equal to triangle pqr and in the second case we have this triangle xyz is also equal to triangle pqr that means both the triangles abc and xyz are equal to this triangle pqr then i can say that triangle 1 and triangle 3 are also equal indirectly if i say this one this one is equal to 2 if i say this one is equal to 2 also this three is equal to 2 also this three is equal to 2 then i can say that one is equal to 3 then from the next step what i can say is this triangle abc is also equal to triangle xyz so things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another So in this case, triangle one was equal to triangle two, and triangle three was also equal to triangle two. Therefore, I can say this triangle one is equal to this triangle three. Now, next axiom: if equals are added to equals, the holes are equal. Equal means two equal quantities. So let me consider two equal quantities first. Now, this part A and this part B both are equal to each other. Also, I can give an example of numbers. This five. Is equal to five. Obviously, any number is equal to itself. Five is equal to five. And here, this square and this square, or you can say this shape and this shape is equal. I have named the shape as A. Let me name the shape as B. So A and B are equal. Now, if these equals are further added to equals, that means added, that is plus sign over here, to equals. Now, this P and Q are also equal. They have same shape, same size. So I can say P is equal to Q. also i can say in case of numbers this 2 is equal to 2 so i had first equals over here that is a equal to b i have second equals over here that is p is equal to q if i add both of them the resultant that i am going to get so this is the result of adding both of them this result will be equal to this result that is the equals when added to equal these holes are also equal similarly in this example of numbers 5 was equal to 5 2 is equal to 2 when we added 5 to 2 we got 7 again when we added 5 to 2 we got 7 that means when equals are added to equals the holes are equal similarly in the third axiom if equals are subtracted from equals the remainders are equal in the last example we have seen when two equals are added the resultant is also equal now in this case when two equals will be subtracted the resultant will be equal these two equals are there that is a is equal to b i can say 5 is equal to 5 now i'm going to subtract something from a if i remove this p and from b if i remove this q i can say the resultant that is the end product x and y they will also be equal so when equals are subtracted from equals the remainders are equal that is the remaining quantity is also equal similarly 5 minus 2 gives me 3 here 5 minus 2 also gives me 3 here so 3 is equal to 3 things which coincide with one another are equal to one another coincide means which overlap one other let us take an example here there are two triangles i have named this triangle as that is this part as x this part as y you can clearly see they overlap on each other and if they overlap on each other then we can say that they are equal that means this x is equal to y i'll give you one more example look at these two circles the radius of both the circles is 3 units now let us check whether they are coinciding or not yes they coincide each other therefore we can say that 
both the circles are equal to each other the whole is greater than a part very simple one whole is greater than a part you can consider this as an entire pizza now if i cut this part if i cut this part so you can see there is a part cut over here so this part if we cut and if we remove it further if we remove it further so we can say this is a part this is a part you can say and pizza was the entire one so the entire pizza will always be greater than a part it is quite obvious so whole that is the entire quantity is always greater than its part say for example i'm having a square like this so this is a square i cut this part i cut one more small square i can say so can i say this big square is greater than this small square yes obviously because this big square is the whole this small square is the part and whole is always greater than a part things which are double of the same things are equal to one another let us take some geometric example now this is ab this ab is say five units this is cd cd is also say five units so we can clearly say that both of them are equal that is they are equal to each other so we can say ab is equal to cd let me double this ab i get pq which is 10 i get pq which is 10 so i can say that this pq is double of ab that is pq is 2 times ab now let me double cd as well so if i double cd let me take rs which is double of cd so i can say rs is 2 times cd now i know that the length of this pq is 10 length of rs is also 10 so can we say pq is equal to rs yes so we can say that pq is equal to rs now if you observe properly ab and cd were two equals which were five units each this was five this was five but pq and rs are double of ab and cd and pq is 10 rs is also 10 which are equal to each other similarly things which are half of the same things are equal to one another in the last example we had doubled the quantity in this example we will half the quantity say pq is equal to 10 and rs is equal to 10 so we can say pq is equal to rs now let us half them let us divide them into half so i can say suppose ab is half of pq that is ab is pq by 2 and cd can be called as rs by 2 pq and rs were equal therefore we got ab is equal to cd that is these were two objects which were equal then their halves are also equal their halves are also equal